Hello friends, my name is Preston Stroud and I'm here to talk to you about the Abling Gravity Wheel again. I've made a few changes since uh, we last communicated in the last video and I finished uh, building all the eight crossbars with 16 weights inside here and uh, each weight has two pounds on it and you can see there with, um, let's get a close up right here, what they look like. You can see bearings, bearings that roll through the grooves, okay, and bearings on the other side, the weight in the middle, split axle, okay, that's what we're looking at here, okay. Now, since our last uh, discussion, I've uh, finished eight crossbars with a 16 weights in it. I ran some tests, and then I've uh, smoothened out and rearranged the, um, the ramp a little bit. Now, based on the initial analysis, it's not showing any motivation at all to run. It uh, continues to be disappointing. However, let's just come up here up close. Let me show you. If we come up here and take this weight and we pull this one up, you can see it move just a little bit. And if we pull up another one, you can see it move some. But the, the thing here is that... Um, even if you move it a little bit, it doesn't seem to have enough power to lift the weights at the bottom on the ramp. Okay? Now, you know, Dusty had a video, and Dusty had a ramp at the top and a ramp at the bottom like Abling did, and did not have a crossbar in it. And my test here is a little different. I'm testing with crossbars in the middle. And I believe that crossbars are necessary to push the weight up. So, um, I've analyzed this a little bit and you know again we'll uh, we'll move it a little bit and you can see it turn a little we'll pull up another one and we can see it turn a little we'll pull up another weight you can see it just doesn't have the motivation there to start turning uh, to have very much power if with one weight shifting okay so let me uh, give you a quick glance of where I'm going to go with this before I abandon this whole project, I want to run a few more tests and take it just a little bit further. So I'm going to set the camera down right here. All right, there we go. Now, uh, what I'm going to show you is that uh, I've got a couple of boards here, okay? Now, I'm going to take these two boards. What I'm thinking about doing is building this similar to Abling's, where if you had a ramp here on the side, on both sides here, an upper ramp, then what I'm looking at is if um, when the weight moves up to here, it would roll onto a ramp and then start rolling across, vertically across. So the wheel wouldn't really be lifting the weight up to the top like this where it's lifting it up. It'll just basically roll across this ramp vertic I mean, horizontally and fall into the groove. Just like at the bottom, it rolls across and lifts. Now it's going to roll across and fall in at the top. So. We want to take it the next stage with uh, rolling across ramps at the top and the bottom. Ramps at the top and the bottom with a crossbar in the middle. Alright, so I just wanted to tell you what I've done so far. And I haven't messed with this in about a month. But I'm ready to start back working on it again. And, hello Logan. This is my little helper. Hey, and uh, where I'm going to go next with building an upper ramp to, uh, to roll across horizontally to fall into the slot and still using a crossbar in it okay and while we're here with the camera I'll just show you a couple of other projects for those new to uh, this is a uh, Doc's buzz saw gravity wheel you can go to go into the internet and you can look up buzz saw gravity wheel you can find this it's one of the projects and we've got uh, Bedini's uh, three pole kit here it still doesn't show any over unity at all. It will charge uh, the battery uh, with more power than, through radiant energy than what we are putting into the battery. But when you take the powering battery into consideration, the cost of that, it still uh, is under unity. That's another one of the test kits. It's another one of the test kits here I've been working with. And this one's powering in the capacitors. Okay, and I've uh, got something crude set up here to flag it and, and uh, charge capacitors. That's been a strange learning curve recently. And this is the bigger one. I did have this with 10 coils on it, and I broke it down and um, rewound some of them and uh, 
I'm still running some tests on it, but so far all the Bedini technology is showing under Unity. Maybe I should just create another video on that. Yeah, let's just do that. All right, guys. Like I said, my name is Preston Stroud, and uh, just wanted to give you an update.